Hey guys, in this video I'm going to install 12 solar panels, 395 watts each panel with a Solar 15k inverter and the Pi's 10 kilowatt hours batteries. This is going to be full home backup system. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. Material for this roof is a metal stone coated tiles and it's one of the toughest roof to install solar panels. Because to walk on these tiles you have to step in a certain places, otherwise those tiles is gonna be bended and damaged. For this project I did cut half inch plywood and set it up pathways so I can walk during panels installation. To attach panels to the roof I'm going to use hooks from Unirack designed for this type of tile and IronReach XR10 rails. Next time for this kind of project I'm going to use XR100 rails so instead of 48 inch distance between hooks I can do 60 inch so installation is gonna happen faster. For the rails bolts it's better to use this style of bolt because if it's square you have to route this from the end of the channel. With this kind of bolt you can do insert into the hole right here, just insert into the rail and attach rail. And we have all rails attached. So now we're good for solar panels. For the solar panels I'm going to use GA395 watts and for rapture down I'm gonna use AP Smart. So this small device is gonna be mounted under the panel. Panel connected to shorter sides and then longer sides is gonna be connected in series with other rapture down devices. Now we can attach AP Smart Rapid Shutdown, organized wires under the panel and lift them up. All 12 panels are going to be connected in one stream. First panel I'm installing right now is going to be main positive connection and then last panel on the second row is going to be main negative connection, which is going to solar unit. For junction box I'm using one GAN metallic weatherproof box and uh, it's going to be located under last panel. Within junction box I'm making these connections, short connection to connect the first panel in a row and the last panel in a row. So today was day two and it took much longer to install on this roof. Today is the day 3 of installation. I'm gonna start mounting inverter, batteries, AC disconnect. For inverter I'm using Solar 15K. For batteries it's gonna be Pites batteries server rack style uh, 48100. It can do um, 50 amps continuous charge discharge. Here's outdoor rated box. Then uh, wireway and the uh, AC disconnect. All of this is gonna be located here. So this is main electrical panel right here. So AC disconnect, inverter, and then batteries somewhere here. For AC disconnect, I'm using switch from Siemens. This is 200 amps service disconnect. And the main electrical panel is 100 amps. So I'm going to install 100 amps fuse here. But in the future, if customers decide to upgrade the main electrical panel from 100 to 200 amps, then we don't need to update this switch. So here's a cabinet from Pites. It's outdoor rated. And then if we open this, we have two slots for the batteries. What I don't like about this cabinet that for the mount, or at least from first time when I see, I don't like. So this is mount is gonna be connected to the wall like this. So if this is wall, it's gonna be connected with the six screws and then battery is gonna sit on the top. And uh, on the top, we don't have any brackets. So what I'm worried about that over time, this cabinet, because it has some offset from the wall, it's gonna lean this side. My only wish 
if this can weigh a little bit less. It's really hard to leave this by one person. To run all wires between solar batteries and AC disconnect, I'm using 12 by 12 by 24 inch Nematriar rated wireway. And now I'm just going to mark all knockouts location and cut inch and a half holes for EMT conduit. To connect wireway with the AC disconnect, I'm going to use this 2 inch LB, which is going to be located right here. Mount this base from Pites batteries in a package we're getting anchors like this if you want to embed into concrete and I'm gonna do below framing level so I'm gonna go in foundation but in my opinion this is too shallow and I purchased this one which can go a little bit deeper so our mount can be more stable now I'm going to drill six holes and uh, connect this base One battery is gonna weigh 50 kilos, two batteries 100, one cabinet about 15 kilograms. My weight is 75, let's try how it's gonna hold. So far, looks well. Now we can install battery cabinet and screw this to the base. is loaded into cabinet and here's example bottom mount versus top mount for solar we have two lug screws holding entire unit and we have perfect level for battery cabinet we have six anchors embedded into concrete and we are totally out of level in my opinion pipes should do a bottom and top mount combination of brackets so bottom will hold entire weight and the top bracket will just pull cabinet to the wall to connect batteries to a solar unit through wireway, I'm going to use this uh, inch and a quarter conduit right here. I'm going to connect this conduit here and uh, go through the bottom uh, of the wireway. From battery cabinet to solar unit, we're going to run four wires, one positive, one negative, ground and communication wire. From a meter to AC disconnect and from AC disconnect to solar, I'm going to run one gauge service entrance cable, which is good for 100 amps. Finished wiring for AC grid input and output in the solar, AC disconnect, and now I'm going to start wiring main electrical panel. And uh, here's all neutrals and grounds separated. Final step here in electrical panel is to use insulated connectors and run wires from a grid to solar unit. And from solar unit 
run wires back here to 100 amp breaker. So in this case, we're gonna have full house backup system. Now I'm mounting the rapid shutdown button, which should be connected on a BB contacts on a solar unit. Now I'm installing enclosure for AP Smart Rapid Shutdown System. Inside we're gonna have transmitter and core. Positive wire from solar array will go through this core and the transmitter will send the signal. When a rapid shutdown devices under each panel receiving this signal, they are passing through power from PV panels to inverter. As soon as we kill power from transmitter, it will stop sending the signal and the rapid shutdown devices will stop passing through this power from PV panels to inverter. So here's how rapid shutdown works. And with the torque range, I'm retorquing all lugs by specification. Final step here is to attach all safety stickers to all equipment, install all covers back and we're good to test our system. And here's the final setup. We have main electrical panel. One of these wires is going from meter, going through AC disconnect to solar, going into the grid. And other connection on the load side is going back through AC disconnect, coming back here and feeding 100 amps main breaker. So this is full home backup system. Overall, I like how this system is a compact and a small, and it's a nice setup. All right, guys, that's all about this video. I hope you will find something useful here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.